Thanks for taking your time out and welcome to the guitar podcast. My name is Joe Bonap. Sorry, Shiva Prabhani. One of the finest songs, Slow Jane, by one of the finest player, Joe Bonamassa. I discovered him quite late in my life, but you know, I'm very glad I discovered him. Great artist and great solo player. Slow Jane is a one of the riff which sounds very complicated, but you know, it's very simple. Very simple to play and very fun to play actually. Let's get to the riff. This song is in D minor scale. and it start with the d minor chord simple d minor chord and but when you reaching to this f note on the e string you have to pull it off so if you playing the complete chord this pull off on the f note on the e string and right after that you have another pull off from this 3 to 1 on the b string which means the d note to c note in the one pull off on the f to e and then 3 to 1 on the b string we go slow and after that you go for the f chord but not the complete f chord like this not this one but only four string you know and you have to have this not on a c not on the b string f not on the d string this will give you the complete f chord feeling but you'll be playing only three strings this d the g and b Let's do it from the start. Real slow. Right after that, you go for the simple. Combine three. And right after that, you go for the power chord. Your A sharp power chords, starting on the A string, and it goes to C power chord. But in this power chord, you'll not be playing this A string. You'll be playing your D and G string. sharp power chord you'll not be playing the a sharp note you'll be playing this two strings d and g and third fret on the d string and third fret on the g string and after that you do take them to for one step this is your c power chord but you'll not be playing the c note so these two notes the g and d so do it from the start slow and for the second part i'm so damn lonely you go for a7 chord and then the g chord i ain't even high i'm so damn lonely i ain't even high and right after that you again you know putting the your riff again in the song
regarding solo part i will urge you that you do, do not copy is you know solo most of the time i see that people are copying the solos i i want you to if you love the song you can put it uh, you know behind your solo as a rhythm and you can you have to have your own improvisation you have this d minor pentatonic scale all over your fret you can play anywhere so i i would prefer that you do practice on the d minor pentatonic on this rhythm but try to you know uh, have your own notes have your own feelings in in using the song thanks for taking your time out and if you're new here and if you like this video then you can do one simple act of kindness for subscribing for any youtuber so please do that and i'll see you next time like this video comment on this video and i'll see you very soon please take care of yourself